What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Christian Hannah Horror here today, and today I want to talk to you guys about another episode of One Horrifying Scene. Now this is something that I told myself, I said, Christian, when you do another episode of One Horrifying Scene, you've got to talk about this scene because I know you love it. No, I don't really talk to myself like that, but you get what I mean. So on today's episode of One Horrifying Scene, we're going to go to one of my favorite Halloween entries in the entire franchise. Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. Now, some love this movie, some hate it, some just think it's okay. I'm one of those people that kind of realizes what it is. It's the sixth entry in a serial killer slasher movie franchise, if you will, and it's what's to be expected. But for me, Halloween 6 just kind of hits it. I love the look of the film. I love the sound of the film. I love Michael in the movie, and I love the characters in the movie because they're kind of just more grungy and offbeat and a little bit more just down and dirty and real. And we're gonna talk about a certain character in this movie that is a little bit more down and dirty and real, if you know what I mean, with John Strode. When we meet John, John is a complete jerk. I'm gonna use what's kind of like a wrestling term, a term called getting heat. Now, getting heat is a term used when you wanna make the audience really hate you and you do something to elicit a response. Well, to me, this was the first time in the Halloween franchise where a character in the movie really got heat. You could say Mikey in Halloween 5 kinda was like a jerk, but he didn't really do anything malicious or say anything malicious. He was just full of himself and rode around in his cool car and acted like he was better than everybody else. It doesn't really make me hate you. I mean, I like you a whole lot, but I certainly don't hate you. Now, fast forward a few years later when Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers comes out, John Strode tells his daughter, we don't want you here. You and your little you-know-what son of yours. Who asked you to come back? The scene where the family is getting together to have breakfast and John Strode comes waltzing in after yelling at the kids for making a Michael Myers sign is very tense, and I gotta give credit. This scene is one of the only scenes in the Halloween franchise where you feel tense watching a family communicate. It's much more tense, in my opinion, than the Rob Zombie remake where you see all the swearing and cussing and tables getting turned over. That's just kind of like, uh, roll the eyes kind of thing. This scene really got me just like, oh my goodness, this is hard to watch because the battle between John Strode and his daughter are very real. It's very much of a real tense relationship that you can see in families in real life. So John Strode comes in hot and heavy, and you see quickly that this guy is not going to win father of the year. Well, Michael decides he's going to start taking out the family one by one. He gets to the wife first after Donald Pleasance just stopped by the Myers house, which they're living in to say you need to get out of here. Apparently Dr. Loomis didn't convince this woman enough because she's still in the house when Michael shows up. It's a little ridiculous how she drops her glasses and just continues to crawl everywhere and barely feel at least get up when you know you got a monster coming for you. Run into anything. But soon after we see John Strode decide he's gonna drive on home. He's drunk. He hits the trash can and we're just ready to see this guy die. I don't know before if you were really wanting to see a character in the Halloween franchise die as much as John Strode Strode's character. If anybody had it coming, it was John. What's really interesting about this scene in the movie and why I decided to do an episode on this kill is this to me is almost like a Friday the 13th style kill and it sticks out for me. A few other scenes in this movie are like that, but particularly this one is what I really love because I don't know that Michael had ever shocked somebody to death in a Halloween movie before. A few things about this scene that are a little bit strange. It's like Michael was really wanting to play up the anticipation on John. Was there parts of his wife's body in the washing machine? You really don't know because when he opens it up, he pulls out a red shirt with blood on it, which was kind of just a weird choice. Why didn't they have a white shirt with blood on it? Or why not, you know, I don't know. I can't remember what the wife was wearing early in the day, but it, it was just a little weird. It kind of made you go, wait, what's going on? After he gets out of the washing machine, Michael finally shows up. Michael stabs him and pins him up against the wall, and John gets electrocuted to no end. You see foam starting to come out of his mouth. You pan outside the house, and the lights are flashing. That was just so cool to me. It was almost like a yeah moment. I don't know. You don't usually get that kind of illicit feeling from a kill scene in a Michael Myers movie, but this scene kind of just kind of got me out of my seat, and I really liked it. While it does feel like what I consider a Friday the 13th style kill, it still fits perfectly 
in this movie with that Michael, with that sound, and with that look. You know, it's funny how the Myers house just seems to change on its own the way it looks. And I gotta say, between all the Myers houses you see in the franchise, I loved the Halloween 6 Myers house. With the basement and the lights you see down when the lights are flickering, it just looked great. I really love this scene where John Strode gets electrocuted in Halloween 6. And I want to see what you guys think. You know, Halloween 6 is a film that I just absolutely adore, but I'm not going to pretend that it's the best made movie in the franchise. I don't think it is, but that doesn't mean I can't love it so very much, and it is one of my favorites. Sometimes these movies just click with you, and this is one that clicks with me. So there it is, guys, my next episode of one horrifying scene where Michael Myers electrocutes John Strode into oblivion. Thank you guys for watching this. Please let me know what you think about this scene. Check out the description for my Teespring and all great stuff like that. And be sure to subscribe. It only takes a second. This is Christian Hennahar. We'll see you guys next time.